YouTubers, Farmboy Reef here. So on today's episode, what we're going to do, um, as I got, I want to show you guys how to use Reefroids. The Reefroids uh, Poly Lab. This is uh, the coral food I feed my corals. So I want to show you how well the corals love this and how the polyps just take it in. So what you're going to need is your uh, your Reefroids uh, Poly Lab food. I end up, I just got a little container here, and you just put a little bit of Reefroids in it. In, in, in this, what I usually do is I'll just take a little bit of my tank water and mix it up. So I'll end up, I'll just take it here. I'll open this up. So I just get a little bit of the tank water and uh, mix it in with the Reefroids. And then I just take my, I have, it's almost like a turkey baster, but it's a really long one. It's almost like three feet. And I just mix that up. So what I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to pick uh, one of my uh, mushroom corals that I have here and we're slowly going to just place it near its mouth and we're just going to take a few shots and then we're going to watch that coral. It's going to take it, it's going to balloon up and suck all the reefroids inside guys. So I'm going to bring you guys up close and personal and show you guys this. So you just mix up your reefroids in your tank water. So you can see there guys, it's all the reefroids are all mixed up in there. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to feed the corals guys. I'll bring you guys up close and personal. So this is the coral we're going we're to feed here. This used to be just one polyp. Now it, it keeps spreading because I keep feeding it all the time with the reefroids. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring what looks like the large turkey baster in really close. And we're slowly going to shoot it into the mouth. And you're going to watch this coral. It's going to balloon up and like just suck all that in. Okay, all right, so I got my turkey baster here. I'm just going to fill it up with reefroids. So just give me one second. Okay, so I got the big turkey baster loaded with reefroids so i'm just going to slowly bring it into my tank here you guys are going to see the the big turkey baster you guys can see it so i'm going to start feeding these corals guys just a little bit at a time okay it's starting right now let's do a couple of uh, polyps so we're slowly feeding it so hopefully you guys are going to see what these corals do with these reefroids So I can see their mouth is starting to open up a bit. Give it a kiss, give it a little bit. And the fish wants some. So just give it a little time there. And they'll start curling up inside each other to feed. So you can slow, if you look right now, it's starting to move up a bit. Can you guys see them twisting? So just feeding them the reefroids. They love this stuff. You guys see how the the polyp is starting to twist in on itself now? Because it's trying to keep the reefroids inside. So but by doing this, they grow a lot faster and color up a lot nicer. So I'll feed the rest of these polyps at the same time. So you guys just watch. It's going to slowly keep turning in until it's like a balloon. see that there it's almost curled in on itself it's trying to keep the reefroids inside my onyx clown wants a piece so there you go you guys can see how the reefroids work you see how that polyp just took those reefroids and now it's it's holding them in you know what I mean it's a lot like even all the other corals they open right up for this stuff that's why I love using the reefroids on my tank the poly lab guys all right, guys, so that's just a small episode on uh, how to feed your uh, corals the reefroids. This stuff works great. Reefroids uh, by Polylab, $25 at your local fish store. It's really good stuff, guys, and you can really see in the video how the, the polyps end up taking the, the reefroids right in, you know, with the mucus, and all the other corals are following behind. It's great stuff. It really colors them up, and you can keep a lot of, like, uh, more uh, expensive corals, more expert level corals like sea fans and stuff like that that you can feed directly. It works great, guys. And plus, uh, using the telescopic, uh, looks like turkey baster, works really well. $15 at the local fish door. And then just use uh, just a little container to mix your reefroids. Just put a little bit of reefroids in there, mix it up with, uh, with your uh, turkey baster, you're good to go. And then just spot feed in certain areas 
and feed those corals, guys. They'll, they'll grow a lot faster, color up, and be more healthy. So I hope you guys like this episode. Um, even please uh, subscribe and hit the like button. You never know what episode's coming up again next, guys. Bye.